Actually, it's good that it's right after, as opposed to being in the middle of a problem, it's good. Okay, guys, example seven. Last example. Write a function given zeros. So, example seven asks us to write the cubic function given zeros of negative four, five, and two. Okay, so cubic function given the zeros. How do we know if it's uh, starting at the top or bottom? Like it's starting. Doesn't matter right now. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so Stella just said x plus 4, x minus 5, x minus 2. Does that make sense? Because what do we know? A 0 of negative 4 looks like what in an equation setting? It's a factor of x plus 4, correct? We're kind of reversing the process, right? A, fat, a zero of five in an equation setting comes from x minus five. So think, what would I have to set equal to zero to get these zeros? And a zero of two would look like x minus two. Now, it did say a cubic function. So I'm going to start off as f of x equals, y equals would be equivalent as well. And if it said cubic, what are we expecting for cubic? An x to the third. And am I going to get an x to the third? Yes, yes I'm going to get an x to the third. Okay, now um, we are going to put this in standard form. Depends on how the directions read. I think your homework wants standard form. Technically here we have written a function, but we're work working more with standard form. Um, they don't give me any other information, so at this point, our lead coefficient is just going to be 1. If they gave us other coefficient, you know, this is just, if they gave us other information, we might have an A value we have to figure it in. Okay, but we don't. Okay, how do I uh, work this out? Uh, it's one of the weird coils, like it's, right? I wouldn't say so. Well, could we just multiply all the numbers together with the x cubed, which is one quarter of the prime of all the values? No. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, x cubed plus 4 minus 5 minus 2. We're going to take more than one step here. No. So, okay, for a moment, forget x minus 2. So foil So foil these two? Yeah. And then oh, multiply that other one in. Mm -hmm. oh, Distribute okay. it in. Okay, so if we FOIL x plus 4, and you can pick any two to start with, right? It doesn't matter there. But if I just go pick these two, x plus 4 times x minus 5 is x squared minus 5x plus 4x is going to make it minus 1x, 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. Still carrying down my x minus 2. And now we can't really FOIL anymore because FOIL just goes for a 2 by 2, but we can distribute. distribute. You can do this however you want. I'll be honest, I like to use my binomial to distribute. It looks backwards, but it just makes my brain work easier. Meaning I'm going to take this x and multiply it by everything in the other parenthesis, right? So x times x squared is x to the third. x times minus x, minus x squared. x times minus 20, minus 20x. And then I'm going to take my minus 2 and multiply by everything in the other parenthesis minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 40. Clean up, and we are there. Is that 2x squared minus 2x squared? Yes. OK. 
Okay, I've got x to the third. Minus x squared and minus 2x squared is going to be minus 3x squared. Minus 20x plus 2x. Minus 18x plus 40. Okay, folks. Okay, so I don't get to offer you guys work time today, but that's because we kind of chatted at the beginning and stuff. However, hallelujah, we made it through the notes finally. Okay, your homework, hopefully you've started it, is listed all right there. Can we see it all right? Okay, good. I see nodding on the camera. Um, page 193, 2 through 8, evens. 9 through 12, all. 18 through 28, evens. 34 to 54 evens. Do on Monday. Please have it ready to go on Monday. Again, I hope you've been working, so it's not a huge assignment at this point. Okay? So you were able to get up to 34 last night pretty good? Good. You can finish it today, then, in the library.